everyone! My name is Zachary Gibzinski, and thank you for joining me to today's video. Well, in today's video is more or less an un unofficial continuation to the Toxic Fandoms Prelude video that never became a series. And today I'm actually going to be covering like, an actual toxic fandom, or not a fandom per se, it's more or less a sub-type of fan. And today's fans that I'm covering that are toxic are shippers. Now, before I continue, I should probably elaborate on what a toxic fan is. A toxic fan is anybody who is a woke SJW that, that insists on promoting diversity for diversity's sake without even supporting the product at all or being a very, very loud local minority that buys said product but doesn't actually ensure its success because their toxic behavior and the way they attack true fans basically repels people. So normally I don't have an issue with shippers whatsoever because people do it for fun or they like to speculate but at times they can definitely go way overboard and push like relationships that don't really work and usually most of the time they tend to be abusive like for example the whole Raylo ship for example is where the toxic Star Wars fans ship Kylo Ren and Rey together because of the trope enemies to lovers trope as exemplified in this paragraph right here but, but that's the thing why do toxic shippers promote the worst the most abusive relationships now I'm actually going to highlight a few things articles and then go over an experience that I experienced maybe a week or so ago regarding these toxic shippers that that are part of these fan bases and that attack anybody else that has a different opinion than they do. Let's see what we can do. Oh yes! I'll go over this briefly. Now, within the Force Awakens, when Rey and Kylo Ren meet, it, it basically starts out with Kylo like slamming Rey and Kitri and then torturing her and then prying into her mind. Now, does that sound like uh, a start of a healthy relationship? No! Get the railroad, the toxic, the toxic band who supports this show. Like, are mentally stuck. Look for this show. Now let's see. Just taking a look to see what we can do. Oh yes, now this sentence here states that, that basically the sentence, I can take whatever I want, such as memories and bodies, do lend credence to what they call a sexual predator, which of course 
course, the Raylas are messed up in the head, and they normally dwell on Twitter, where a bunch of them are probably a bunch of bots anyway. But I digress. So, do you really want to root for two people on the opposite side to become lovers when one has a history of threatening the other's life? Now. now, the true Star Wars fans basically hate the sequel trilogy with a passion, and even though I am not a Star Wars fan, I do stand in solidarity with them. That Disney Star Wars trilogy sucks. And anything else that Disney has produced with the Star Wars brand, rendering the series to be utterly garbage. But we're talking about Toxic Shippers. Oh yes, and and another reason why that that a toxic relationship such as Great Will shouldn't happen is that basically Kylo Ren basically tells Ray that he's that he's nothing without him, basically controlling her trying to manipulate her emotionally, but that's a thing. Uh, Ray doesn't even have any emotions within the whole sequel trilogy, and she's just a Mary Sue. So of course, I can see why the toxic shippers flock to this relationship. It's because they insert themselves into Ray, imagine themselves as Ray. Because they just want to get with a hot guy. He eats despite how how toxic the relationship is. It's like these shippers have no means of 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 identifying what a healthy relationship is. I don't want to dwell on, on this one, and you guys can basically check out the article, I will link it, but I will go over a, another toxic relationship that these shippers champion. And the next one is basically the Adora and Catcher of Toxic Relationship from the Series, which I never watched and never will. In fact, if you want a good He-Man series that's all on Netflix, I do suggest checking out He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And now, avoid the He-Man show that Crybaby is in the finished videos. No one likes that. But that's the topic for another video now. Now, basically, basically, what this article is summing up that basically Adora and Catra were basically fighting on the same side and basically later became enemies. And basically, let me see. Oh yeah, basically, in this ship, the shippers, again, ship, like, two people that have a not-so-pleasant history together, together, because these shippers clearly don't have a brain. And I just gave an example of a head toxic heterosexual ship, so I might as well do it for this one, too. Now, basically, uh, what happens here, from what I can gain from the articles, is basically Catra 
antagonizes four, four, four and a half seasons of the failed Princesses of Power show that basically was Netflix season, not actual season, but you get the riff. And I will link this article too because it does go over the how how these shippers love abusive relationships. Now, Mafia deems acceptable, such as the Kadora ship that is extremely toxic. Like it's like these people want to become abusive through something. Like but now I'll go over something that I expand. And yes, this is Neopets.com. Yes. A website that's, that's hanging on life support and it does have its toxic fans, like toxic shippers. And I'm just trying to filter through to see where this started when I changed this. It started off with a fucking duck plot. Find it. So bear with me, like okay. So this is where what inspired the whole video was basically this interaction on the Neo Boys on the Neopets.com. Basically, what I say here is how to get shipping of. Characters getting to say that it would result in a form of writing, and I basically state that I don't care who was in a romantic relationship with who, and of course state that it's a kid's side, and stating that kids aren't interested in the stuff like some teens and some adults are, which is perfectly sound. <sighs> but that's the thing. This is where it starts getting crazy because shippers have to re, right? Especially the toxic ones. Basically, they say some people are not intolerant, which is SJW speak. Oh, yes, and. This is where I mentioned the Raylo shippers, where basically they're basically where most fan fiction eventually becomes official and rubs people the wrong way. That's what Disney Star Wars is. Fan fiction that became real and nobody liked. Except the small percentage of the toxic Raylo. Of course, I will 
table for it myself. Also, once the quality of writing is reduced to the fanfic level, it pretty much ruins the characters involved. Which, if you've seen like some videos out there, such as Beanpot's video about bisexual Batman, that's what happens when you have fanfic writers writing everything, and they happen to be of the toxic fandom, known as the known as woke cultists, aka SJWs, social justice zealots, and of course this continues a. W speak right here. Like if you're if you have a Neopets account, which I don't think too many of you will because it's a website on life support, except for the Metaverse project, which is now in its alpha, which I may consider checking that out, maybe for content for my channel, but that is another video. How long this goes? Because okay, this is more plot stuff. That's. Of course, another toxic fanfic to Stan, who is also a shipper. And of course, they're talking about another character. The, now remember, the shippers are convinced that, that two characters that happen to be enemies are instantly lovers. That's SJW logic for you. And that's why they're toxic fans, after all. But this user right here basically says, Need romantic garbage out of the kids slash family site. Which, yes, I agree. Because not every Neopets fan falls into the toxic GW trail. I'm just trying to take a look to see what else. Because I'm not going to talk about all this related on you can pause the video if you'd like to read it. Or if you happen to be a new page on the site, you can basically look this up and dig through the stuff, but Another SJW speak thing. Bigots really don't want the gays to have anything. That's a thing. To be honest, sure, I do want gay marriage to become illegal since it led to the debauchery that we see right now. But I do respect the lifestyle choice that these people make. As long as they're not beating me over the head with it. And not acting like the stereotype that the alphabet mafia wants them to act like, which is annoying and obnoxious. I guess that's a thing. Like, there's people out there that, that happen to be queer that are basically sane. And of course, the bring up the thing about the Raylo example. And terrible writing. And this is an important sentence that I will bring to light. Ships, whether straight or otherwise, is usually followed by 
the part of writing that drives people away. And of course, SJWs turn it into something that it is not. And of course, others are not interested in these ships. They don't want to see this stuff. But that's beyond the point. Like I could go on and on and on about about all this stuff, but like like highlighting the fact that toxic fans attack actual fans when they have a different opinion that doesn't line up with the narrative. Now, do you see what I mean when it comes to the toxicity of shippers? Like, sure, not all shippers are bad, and not all of them are are SJWs either, it's just that a majority of them don't get it that they basically want the most toxic relationship to be seen and they love putting people into basically unhealthy relationships and probably create such relationships for themselves. But if you want to go where there are fans, and you're a fan yourself, out of the toxic bullcrap, right? and I'm not a part of geeks and gamers, but that's actually a good place to go, where you can meet tons of fans who aren't toxic, SJWs that go on and on and on about their gifts. Seriously, they have a website where you can basically comment in, or, or in posts and stuff like that and discuss stuff without the fear of, it, of a rabid SJW coming at you with foam at the mouth. Thank you again for checking out this video. My name is Zachary Gibson. I am the host. Check this channel. Check out this video on YouTube under Dendrite. Big shoes under Dendrite. Rumble under Sotar. Next. Oh yeah, I believe it. Odyssey. Yeah, that was the other one. Under Odyssey, under Zen Variety Mix. And I may leave a link to the to the video that I made about toxic fandoms years ago. Yeah, this is an unofficial continuation. If I find anything else that that is a toxic fan behavior that these woke people have. I will do a video on it. Thank you again for watching. God bless and have a good day.